how are you today i'm so so glad you've tuned in happy friday i hope you've had an amazing week you can tell me in the comments how your week has been in one word like if you could just find one word to describe your week um yes i guess mine would be difficult um and beautiful at the same time wait you said one word okay you can have two words so after you do that i was reading my bible yesterday in my bed at night in the darkness on my phone if you do that um and i was led to reading timothy and i was just reading it about like how leaders should be and how to how they should instruct people i noticed something towards the end of the chapter that was talking about repentance and i noticed something really really cool about repentance that i had to share with you because it happened to me the previous day so it was like something happened then i read this scripture i'm like oh yeah so that's what happened so go to second timothy chapter 2 second timothy 2 from 22 everything is just 2 2 2 2 i'll read niv because it's my physical bible so second timothy 2 22 to 25 so it says flee the evil desires of youth so as you're fleeing them you're moving towards something and pursue righteousness faith love and peace so along with those who call on the lord out of a pure heart don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments because you know they produce quarrels and the lord's servant must not be quarrelsome but must be kind to everyone able to teach and not resentful opponents must be gently instructed in the hope that god will grant them repentance leading them to a knowledge of the truth and that they will come to their senses and escape from the trap of the devil who has taken them captive to do his will so the thing that jumped out at me is this opponents must be gently instructed in the hope that god will grant them repentance leading them to a knowledge of the truth and i was like hold on god leads us to repentance and repentance leads us to knowledge of the truth and right now we live at a time when there's so many truths and so many rights it's quite sometimes difficult to know what the truth is and there's a scripture that says in the last day it would be difficult for even believers to tell what's true and what isn't because there'll be half truths and it actually says that we have truths and lies and false prophets and we need to stick in the word to get to know what the truth is however what that really stood out to me so before you say like okay what's repentance repentance is explained in verse 19 of second timothy 2 22 so it says um nevertheless god's solid foundation stands firm sealed with this inscription the lord knows those who are his and everybody who confesses the name of the lord must turn away from wickedness other versions say must turn away from iniquity so the moment you confess the name of the lord you have to turn away from iniquity and wickedness you can just have like oh yeah i'm a christian great and then you continue walking in the wrong direction so if you are going this way you now go back towards god this way you do not so like oh yeah cool 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 i believe in you confess in the name of the lord i'll just keep going this way because that what that's what works for me so repentance is turning away from wickedness and then towards god and what god says the way we're told to flee from youthful passions and pursue righteousness faith love and peace at least i got there the first one <laughs> 
So we are told to pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace. So repentance helps us or God leads us to repentance. So it's not in your own strength. And out of repentance, you're led to the knowledge of the truth. You're able to pick stuff out from the Bible. You're able to discern, like, hold on, that that doesn't sound right or it doesn't feel right. There's something, it doesn't look wrong, but something about it isn't true. And now why this stood out to me. The previous day I had just... I noticed there's something i'd been doing wrong and i was at a point where i was turning back towards god and i just opened my bible and i was seeing so many things I was like, oh no that's cool that's cool. there's so many things were jumping out at me the way this particular thing jumped out at me and i started seeing from a repentant heart and actions um you re you say you're sorry you turn start following god because you're moving, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. As you're moving in the right direction, you start to know the truth because you're walking in the way of the truth. The truth starts becoming a bit more obvious to you or lies do not look like they're true anymore. So that's the super cool thing I learned about repentance. And I thought I'd share it with you. If you have questions on anything to do with your work with God, Bible questions, theological questions, feel free to send them to info at jengrehama.com. I will respond to you and have a video. Of, it will be anonymous as well. Uh, that's in, I'll put that in the description. Share, uh -huh. share and like this video with someone who... Wait. Like and share this video with somebody who would appreciate it. Have an amazing weekend. Um, yeah, see you next Friday. Bye.